the Lord's voice resounding on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor, the Lord's voice shattering the cedar, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire, the Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry glory. The Lord stands known over the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Father, the hour has come, glorify your Son. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. His soul flatters himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is gone. He blessed the feet of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven. Your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain. Your judgments like the deep. To both man and beast you give protection. O oh Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men, find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life. And in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evildoers fall. Long down they shall never abide. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. Who shall not glorify your name, O Lord? I give you thanks, O Lord, 
Though you've been angry with me, your anger has abated and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Who shall not glorify your name, O Lord? If any joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-string lute sing him songs. Oh, sing him a song that is true, <coughs> play loudly with all your skill, for the word of the Lord is faithful and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By, by his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea, let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded it sprang into being. He prostrates the designs of the nations, he defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horn. Despite its power, it cannot say. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love. To rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy, we trust in his holy name. 
Many all of the Abanas, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. From the letter to the Romans, you know the time in which we are living. It is now the hour for you to wake from sleep. For our salvation is closer than when, the, when, when, than when we first accepted the faith. The night is far spent, the day draws near. Let us cast off deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in daylight, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual excess and lust, not in quarreling and jealousy. Rather, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the desires of the flesh. Shadow of death, 
and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Ajite penitentia, aprobing coabite min, renium celorum. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. God, our Father, yours is the beauty of creation and the good things you have given us. Help us to begin this day joyfully in your name and to spend it in loving service of you and our fellow men. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. The divine assistance be always with us and also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light, by revealing to us the mystery of the word, the eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and all truth. O beloved disciple of the word made flesh, who at the last supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, and our infidelities, be our Father that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agathos, under the life-giving guidance of the spirit of Paraclete, and Mary, Mother of Jesus.